uh, name we send is Brian Bravo Romeo India for November. And we are, or I am, about 130 kilometres, about 100 miles north of London on the Suffolk coast. Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So in this video, we'll take a look at the new and soon to be released ICOM ID50, a dual band handheld transceiver, which includes FM and D-Star. Now frequency ranges from 108 to 174 megahertz and then 375 to 479 megahertz with AM support for the air band. Broadcast reception is also possible between 76 and 108 megahertz. Now this little beauty is packed with some really cool features, some that you may find quite surprising. But before we take a look at its features, let's take a look around the handheld itself. Now with the radio in hand, you can really feel that this radio has a commercial grade construction, something that we would expect from ICOM. Now according to the sales brochure, this radio will have an IPX7 rating, which also includes waterproofing up to one meters depth for a period of 30 minutes. Not that you'd want to drop this in water, but at least it's safe. A nice clear backlit LCD along with six side function buttons and a D-style pad located in the center is alongside a 750 milliwatt internal speaker, which sounds really, really nice when in use. To the right of the internal speaker, we find the microphone, which provides a nice clear transmitted audio. On the left side of the radio, we find the PTT along with this squelch open button and of course the main on and off button. Below this, we find a little rubber flap covered SD card slot, which can be used for a whole range of features, such as storing radio backups, receive digital photos, audio recordings, GPS logs and call history. On the right hand side, we find a speaker mic connection, which is covered by a rubber flap. And below this, we find a DC input and a USB-C socket. Now the USB-C socket can be used for both charging the battery and data transfer between the radio and a computer or an Android device. Now more about that shortly. On the top of the radio, we find the antenna connection along with a double barrel encoder, one which controls the volume and the other to control features and functions all change frequency when in VFO mode. A status LED is also located to the left, which indicates when receiving and transmitting. Now, removing the battery is performed by pulling in the two top clips, and with the battery removed, we can see the metal chassis of the radio, noting that waterproof rubber seal around the battery terminals. Turning on the ID50, we're presented with a welcome message and the current battery level before showing the main screen. Now, upon pressing the menu button, you're presented with an easy to use menu system. The menu system is laid out in a true icon fashion and makes finding what you are looking for very easy. Now, as this radio is packed with features, you will find there's lots and lots of options to go through. But after having this radio in hand, I was more than confident navigating the menus just after a few minutes. And I didn't even look in the manual. Well, that was mainly because there wasn't a manual available at the time of recording this video. Now, before going into a couple of the cool ID50 features, let's just make a quick QSO via D-Star. This is uh, M0DQW, M0DQW. Just wanted if somebody could give me a quick uh, audio report, and that'd be, uh, that'd be excellent. This is M0DQW. Now one of the cool features that I want to point out of the ICOM ID50 is a working band scope with waterfall. Yep, you heard me, it has a band scope with waterfall, which makes it extremely quick and easy to see band activity at a glance. Now here I am just monitoring the two meter calling frequency, and as you can see there's activity going on up and down the band. Now turning the top encoder allows you to change frequency quickly so you don't miss those potential contacts. As we have seen on other handheld devices, the ID50 receives AM on the airband, but it does it quite professionally and it sounds very good. Let's take a listen to this. Delta 
Another cool feature is the ability to send and transmit images. Now Reflector 55D is a well-known D-Star reflector where they have photo nets where users send images over D-Star to each other. With an SD card installed in the ID50, any received images are stored directly on the SD card. Using an Android application, you're able to download those images from the ID50 to your Android device and then view them. Now here are some that I received from ON8NT while testing this feature on the ID50. I was also able to send a photo to Jeff using the Android app by selecting an image, sending it to the ID50, and then send the image via RF from the ID50 to Reflector 55D. Now of course you can do this direct on a simplex frequency if you have friends around you. A Windows utility will be released when the radio is actually released, but for now I only had access to the Android version to test with, which worked very well. If you're wondering how the radio connects to an Android device or computer, then it's just via that USB-C cable. Just one single USB-C cable is all you need, making that connection extremely easy. Now the ID50 supports dual watch, which means you can listen to two VFOs at the same time. You can either display just one VFO with enlarged fonts or change the screen to show both VFOs at the same time. QSO logs and GPS tracking logs can also be stored to the SD card in CSV format. You can then use the QSO logs file to import into your favorite ham radio logging software if required. As the ID50 has inbuilt GPS, this can be utilized to provide a smart feature to locate nearby repeaters, assuming you have them programmed in. Now, one of the tests that I normally perform on radios to show in videos is spurious emissions and RF power levels. However, this particular radio I have here is a pre-production sample, so it's possible things might change on release. But in my off-camera testing, I did not notice any spurious emissions even on this pre-production model. Now I know you guys probably have hundreds of questions and I know I've not gone into depth about any specific feature. I only had this radio for a limited time, but maybe in the future, if I can obtain one of these to keep, I'll create some in-depth tutorials just to guide you through some of those menu features. Now personally, I think this is an awesome handheld transceiver and even using it as a home radio makes sense, especially when using it with an MMDVM hotspot. This is a far cry from the usual kind of handhelds that I've reviewed in the past, and it's like a breath of fresh air to review a product which is made by a top tier manufacturer. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're thinking about getting one of these yourself, let us know down in the comments below, what features do you find appealing on this radio? If you want to purchase this radio, you're going to have to wait a little while because it's not actually out just yet. However, keep an eye on your local emporiums for when they release them and get stock. Until next video, take care, stay safe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, and thanks to Ian at ICOM for allowing me to review this radio.